y'all. Today we are back. We're back over here at Cortland's house. Uh, and today we're going to be working on the Chinese. I think this is 200. It might be a 250. I don't know. But we're going to work on the Chinese uh, 200cc quad in the first part of this video. And what we are trying to do is figure out what we need to do to get this sprocket out just a little bit because as you can see this bad boy right here is wobbling like it's hot for the 99 2000s so i'm thinking that if i loosen up these axle nuts here hopefully that will allow that will allow the sprocket mount to slide over if that is not the case uh then we're gonna start doing some stuff on the left side with the disc brake is. So I'm gonna get to loosening this up and see if that's the case. Uh, I need to find where the master link is on the chain. Go ahead and pop that loose and I'll be back with what I figure out. I couldn't find any videos on YouTube around uh, what needs to be done for this, so y'all welcome. All right, so if you uh, take off the axle nuts, then the sprocket is actually splined just like a axle and then it slides right off so i found the master link gonna pop that off and then we can see the screws that are on the other side tighten those up and then this job should be done we got this sprocket pulled away and everything and a couple of these bolts didn't quite make it well pretty much three out of four didn't make it that's the only one that, that still kind of made it so I'm gonna get some bolts for this and finish this up later because it is like almost 10 o'clock at night, everything is closed. So now we're gonna shift over to Rocky. Rocky got a fresh set of meats via Amazon. I will have the link in the description below. Stock size replacements. I got the trusty bead buster. I got the bill tires, uh, sealer. I got the Harbor Freight. Um, tire iron things and I got my trusty screwdriver somewhere so we are going to start on the front and I'm going to try not to mess up this paint job on the wheels and let's get these fresh meats installed <laughs> We've been here busy. So for this, well, for right now, for tonight, or this morning, it is 1.46 in the morning. We have both front tires on. He's going to do some touch-up on the wheels because of the paint that I scraped off. And we also got the rear tires on. He's going to do the same thing for that. He's about to do some additional paint work on this that y'all will see maybe tomorrow uh, when I come back to finish up the Chinese. This is this a 200 or a 250? Is it 200? Uh, yeah, uh, 250. 250. Yeah, when we come back and I finish up the sprocket on the Chinese 250. So we'll see if the paint work is done on that or not. If you don't see it at this video, you will see it uh, when we go to Bosco Beach. So I'll be back in a little bit and we will get this bad boy right here fixed up down on the ground. And then that will pretty much be it for the Bosco Beach prep, you know, feel nice to have stuff done five days in advance and not working up to the last minute. So y'all can learn a little something from that. So I'll be back and we're going to be getting this fixed up. And Rocky is, Rocky, Rocky got some new shoes. So, you know, he he, he in the big leagues, you know, he, he ain't no longer, you know, uh, lifting up goats and tractors. He got 
you know, a nice facility now. So we making it work. <laughs> oh man. All right, y'all. We are back the next day. I found four bolts uh in my toolbox. If you have one of these and you're having this issue, these are M8 by 1.25. Uh, this bolt is just a little bit longer than the bolts uh, that came out. Now maybe like, I don't know, five mil or something like that. But in this case, it won't be a problem because it goes from the outside in and it's wide open and it's not going to stick out uh, far enough to hit the locking bolt. So I did find four matching bolts um, in my bolts bin of random stuff. So I'm going to get these in. Um, in that process, I'm going to use some blue Loctite, get it locked in, and get everything back together. And when I do, we should be good to go. And then after that, I might show y'all a little preview of uh, what Cortland got going on with his 400 EX, because it looks good. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I've got the bolts in, everything locked tight. When it slid all the way on, you can't see it, but oh, you can kind of see it. It's a, it's a little gap there, just like factory. So we ain't got to worry about it rubbing, hitting on nothing, tearing those seals up. So we're going to get these locked on, and we should be good to go. We got everything back together. We should be good to go. Uh, so, yeah, I'll give y'all just a little, just a little, little, little show uh, you know, before everything is done, but I think that photo being blacked out, you can't even see it so blacked out. I ain't never seen a 400 that had a blacked out motor, and this got it. So we'll get a better view on it on Friday when I get here to load it up. But yeah, I think that looks good right there. So yeah, we'll check y'all out. Uh, I don't know, might be the next day for y'all, might be a couple days. Not sure, but if everything... Think, build, enjoy. We will see y'all later. Peace. Oh. All right. Y'all ready? All right. On three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh!